In this video, we're going to explore why any number raised to zero power equals one and why any number raised to a negative exponent is the reciprocal of that number raised to the positive exponent. Let's use the number three. We can use any number, but three seems to be a really easy number for us to use. Three cubed equals 27. 3 squared equals 9, and 3 to the first power equals 3. And we want to figure out how we know that 3 to the 0 power equals 1. Well, we used multiplication to get these numbers. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times it's 1 is 3. So, to go backwards, we could say, okay, 27 divided by 3 gave us 9. 9 divided by 3 gave us 3. If we continue this pattern, 3 divided by 3 is going to give us 1. So that shows us that 3 to the 0 power equals 1. But you could substitute in any number you want, negative or positive, and, and do the same inductive reasoning, and you would come up with the same conclusion that any number multiplied by 0 equals 1. Well, let's continue on with this pattern and see if we can't do something with these negative exponents. 3 to the negative 1, if we continue the pattern, means that I'm going to take 1 and divide it by 3. So 3 to the negative 1 equals 3, which makes sense because... The, in, the reciprocal of 3 is 1 over 3, and the positive exponent is 1. Well, let's do another one. 3 over negative 2 means I'm going to take 1 third and divide it by 3. Well, we know that 1 third divided by 3 actually equals 1 third times 1 third. And we know that 1 third times 1 third is 1 third squared. So we know that 3 to the negative 2 power equals 1 third squared. And we can continue on this pattern and find that it'll work for any number. So using some intuition and inductive reasoning, that is why we can say that any number raised to the 0 power equals 1 and any number raised to a negative exponent means you're going to take the reciprocal, you're going to flip it immediately, and raise it to the positive exponent. And good luck on your homework.